Hello scholars, welcome to another day of math with Mrs. Halverson. So yesterday we learned about rounding numbers to the nearest 10. Today we're going to be talking about rounding numbers to the nearest 100. Now in the PowerPoint that you guys are going to be going through today, the slideshow, there's a fun poem about how to round numbers to the nearest hundred. Now, I if the poem works for you, that's super awesome. But if you know Mrs. Halverson well, and if you ask any of my mathematicians in the past, they'll tell you that I love number lines, okay? So I'll quickly show you how to do the poem, and then I'm gonna show you how to do the number line, okay? So let's say we have the number 367. Do you notice that in 100, there are two zeros? When you're rounding to the nearest 100, you always wanna make sure that there's at least two zeros, okay? So this, we need to decide, okay, what two hundreds is this in between, right? If you're a fan of the poem, you first need to, so we're rounding this number either up or keeping it the same. So you look behind, underline. Okay, five or more, you add one more. Is this above a five? Yes, so this 300 becomes a 400. Okay, and then remember, we wanna make sure that there are two zeros at the end. Okay. I didn't even finish the poem. Let's try that one again, 300. Look behind, underline, five or more, you add one more. Okay, so that's 400. If we had this number instead, look behind, underline, five or more, you add one more. Four or less, you let it rest. So that means that you don't add anything and it just becomes 300, okay? now. Let's get into number lines, because I love them. I do. Okay, so let's say we have 7,092. Okay, that one's actually pretty easy <laughs> to see which 100 that's closer to. So if we look at this, we need to ask ourselves, which two hundreds is this in between? Okay, yesterday, remember when we were trying to figure out the 10, we covered up. But we don't wanna do that this time because we're actually changing that number or keeping it the same. Okay, so I can see that this number is in between 700 and 800. Okay, so I'm gonna draw that on my marker board. Okay, and then I'm gonna say, okay, so 750 is about there. We have a ways to go, right? Until we get to 792. So 750, 760, 70, 70, 80, 790. 792 is really close to 800, right? So you need to ask yourself, is this number closer to 800 or is it closer to 700? That's right, it's closer to 800. So when rounding this, we would round 792 to 800. Now, like I said, that one's a little bit obvious, right? We can tell that this number is already really close to 800. So it's a little easy. Let's try one that's a little trickier. All right, scholars, so if we draw out our number line, what two hundreds is this number in between? Good. 500 and 600. Okay, now. 550 is about there, 550 is right in the middle. Okay, if you're wondering, hmm, which side of this would it be on? You can maybe do 510, 520, 530, 540, 550. Three, uh, 534. Now, let's get rid of these numbers so we don't get confused. 
Is 534 closer to 500 or closer to 600? That's right, it's closer to 500. So we would round down to 500, okay? Now, we're going to do two four digit numbers together and then I'm gonna have you try it by yourself. If we have a four digit number, okay, just like we covered up the numbers um, when we were rounding to tens yesterday, we're gonna do the same thing here, okay? Because sometimes this fourth digit kind of freaks us out and we get confused, okay? We'll add back in the digit in the thousands place, but first we're gonna deal with the hundreds, okay? So we have 720, which is between the numbers 700 and 800, okay? Then we bring this back in, okay. 3,000, we'll just do it like that, okay? Right in the middle, remember, we do that one next. 3,750, now, is 720 more than or less than 750? It's less than, very good. So it's somewhere in here. So if it's on this side of the number line scholars, we already know what 100 we're rounding to, right? We already know that we're gonna round this to 3,700, right? But just for giggles, we're going to figure out where this would be in the number line. So 3,700, 3,710, 3,720, <gasps> there it is. So again, we can see that this number is closer to this 100 than that 100. Let's do one more four digit number together. Okay, 1,757. Okay, oh my gosh. How on earth do we find what 200s? It's in between. Remember, we're gonna cover up that fourth digit. Okay, cover up that fourth digit. Now we can see that this 100 is in between 700 and 800, okay? And then we'll put 750 here, so we know right in the middle, right? Okay, now we're gonna add back in that fourth digit. Okay, now 757, is that more than this? 1,757, is it more than 1,750? Yeah, it's about right here. Scholars, is this closer to 1,800 or closer to 1,700? It's close, isn't it? But it is closer to 1,800. Okay, let's try going back to that little poem that we had. Let's try this. So we're running to the nearest hundred, so we're looking at this number. Look behind, underlined. Five or more, you add one, oops, you add one more. And then the, you just need to add the zeros back in, okay? If this was a three, we would say, Look behind, underline, four or less, you let it rest. So this stays the same. And then you add your zeros in. I think number lines make more sense, but that's just me. Okay, so scholars, I'm gonna give you a number. I want you to round it to the nearest hundred, and I want you to do it using whatever strategy you want. You can use the poem or the number line. I highly recommend the number line. Okay, so let's see. All right, go ahead, pause.
as your device. Draw out your number line and round this to the nearest hundred. 1,482 to the nearest hundred. Pause your device. Do it on your own. And then come back. Welcome back, scholars. I'm glad that you guys are able to figure that out on your, on your own. So first, to find my two hundreds, I'm going to cover up that fourth um, digit. Okay, so I know that 482 is between 400 and 500. Okay, I'm going to put 450 in the middle just because I do that. I'm going to actually keep it covered so I know, so I don't get too confused. Okay, I'm going to keep it covered. 482, hmm, I know it's in between 450 and 500, but we're gonna figure it out a little more accurately. 460, 470, 480, 490. So 482, and then we can go ahead and add back in our fourth digits, right? So scholars, is 1,482 closer to 1,500 or 1,400? Good. 1,500. Okay. If we were doing our poem, let's say, all right, we're looking at the hundreds place here because we're rounding to the nearest hundred. We look behind, we underline five or more, we add one more, don't forget to add the zeros, okay? Scholars, what if we had this number? So if we cover up that fourth digit, we're in between 500 and 600. 550 is right in the middle. What do we do? Well, first we add in our fourth digit, right? And then what? That's right, we always round up if we're right in the middle. So this would round up to 1,600. Okay, let's do one more. And we'll call it a math day. Ooh, I'm gonna do, ooh. No. Hmm. Okay. 4,612. Go ahead, draw your number line. Pause your device, draw your number line, figure it out. Okay, and then you're coming back to me. Awesome, good to see you again. Here we go. I'm covering up this fourth digit so I don't get confused. I know that 612 is in between 600 and 700. 650 is about right here. Okay, now I'm gonna keep that covered until the very end, just like I did last time, because that really helped me from getting confused. All right, so here we go. Uh, between 600 and 650, hmm. Okay, to make it a little more accurate, let's do our tens. So 610, 620, 630, 640, 650. So I know that 612, is just a tad more than 610, okay? Now don't forget to add in this three, okay? We need to add, we need to add back in the fourth digit, even though we were ignoring it, okay? So this is 3,600, 3,612, 3,650, 3,700, I'm gonna erase that so I don't get confused, scholars. 3,612, is that closer to 3,600 or 3,700? Right, it's much closer, 3,600. Now, let's try the poem. Way to do it. Okay, we're looking at this number since we're rounding to the nearest 100, right? Look behind, underline five or more, you add one more to this guy. Four or less, you let it rest and add zero. And then don't 
forget to add the zeros and the fourth digit. Okay. All right, scholars, this can be kind of tricky, especially when you're running to the nearest 100 instead of the nearest 10. So if you're struggling, I'm going to really encourage you to go and see your math teacher on their office hours. If you don't know how to get a hold of your math teacher on their office hours, I can help you with that. You go to your Google Math Classroom, you go to Classwork, and under the title, Things You Need to Know, it will have your teacher's office hours and the link for your teacher's office hours, okay? So if you are having any trouble, please visit one of us. All right, have an awesome day and I'll see you in math next time.